Hi, my name is Joy and I'm a health and wellness coach. Today I'm going to talk about the key nutrients necessary for hormone production and balance. So first of all, it's best to get your nutrition from whole foods and if you want extra then you can you know, take supplements and herbs. But first of all, the best way to do it is to eat, you know, fruits and vegetables and whole grains. So uh, minerals are really important for hormones, hormone production. And you can get minerals from seeds such as sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and sesame seeds as well as seaweed, and beets are also really great. Um, so the key minerals that are really important are zinc, and that, that aids in the, it helps the reproductive organs. Copper and iron are for red blood cell formation, and um, as well as nerves and collagen production. And the iron oxygenates the blood. So copper, iron, and B12 are really important if you are anemic. Selenium is, is great for the heart, the liver, and the thyroid. And magnesium helps with PMS and depression. So it's best to get a mineral supplement that has all the minerals because they all work together. And it's more advanced if you know and you, and you want to get specific, you can get uh, just a magnesium supplement that can help with relaxing the muscles and nerves. But check with your doctor to see if you are anemic. Otherwise, don't take copper and iron, especially by themselves. Um, so all the vitamins are really important. Vitamin A is an antioxidant and is important for the formation of bones and teeth, as well as fat storage, and it protects us against cancer. Uh, deficiencies can cause dry hair and skin and night blindness. Um, you probably heard that vitamin A is good for the eyes. Um, it also helps with acne and reproductive problems. Um, vitamin A is in things like carrots and sweet potatoes um, or pumpkin that have the orange color to them. Um, all the B vitamins are really important for the nerves, the skin, the eyes and the hair, the liver and the mouth, as well as healthy muscle tone in the GI tract and brain function. Um, and B vitamins can help with stress as well, for stress resiliency. And one that's important for women especially is the B6. And the B6 does so many things in the body, including the absorption of fats and protein, and it aids in the nervous system and the synthesis of RNA and DNA. A deficiency can cause headaches, anemia, acne, depression, fatigue, memory loss, and hair loss. Um, vitamin C is very important, especially for the immune system. And vitamin D3. And it helps to take a K2 with vitamin D3 for absorption. Um, the vitamin D3 acts like a vitamin and a hormone. And it helps you to absorb calcium and phosphorus. So it helps for the bones and teeth. 
and it is a preventative for breast cancer and colon cancer. It especially enhances immunity. I've been taking it every day for the last few years and I haven't gotten sick. Um, so vitamin D is, is really great and it can help with de depression and with thyroid function. Um, the vitamin E helps to decrease hot flashes and it increases the blood supply. It is an antioxidant, and um, deficiency can cause destruction of nerves and infertility. So each of the vitamins are all very important, and they do work together synergistically. So a multivitamin with vitamins and herbs is great to take. And a lot of times the dosages are very low, even though it's the recommended daily allowance, it is still low and you can take more. Some herbs that help with hormone balance, um, it depends on what is going on, but if you know what your imbalance is, say if you have low progesterone, you can take wild yam and chast tree, also known as Vitex. If you know that you have high estrogen, then you can use DIM, and that decreases the estrogen. Uh, Omega-3s and other good fats, such as avocado and coconut oil and ghee, uh, these good fats are necessary for hormone production. Your hormones are made from cholesterol, so it is important to get the good fats. The bad fats are considered like seed oils and canola oil. And, you know, a lot of the oils that are in processed food and snack foods, those are not good oils. There's a couple amino acids that are helpful for hormones. Uh, L-theanine, which helps reduce anxiety and L-tyrosine, which improves the stress response, as well as the thyroid function. And a couple more herbs that help with anxiety and stress are ashwagandha and St. John's wort. Those are really great calming herbs. And maca is a great herb for hormones. It helps with insomnia, depression, memory, um, concentration, energy, and bone density. So these are some ways to improve your hormone production, which will also help your mood. And um, it does get complicated to work with the hormones. Um, but the basic thing is to get these necessary nutri nutrients. So if you're interested in working with me, I help women balance their hormones. And I do it naturally using lifestyle medicine and um, these natural remedies such as herbs and supplements. I also work with the subconscious mind and to release old patterns and trauma and to help balance the emotional aspects using acceptance, self-love, and non-judgment. If you're interested in working with me, you can email me at Awakened Healthy Being at gmail.com and also check out Awakened Being Facebook page. Um, thanks for listening and please subscribe if you're interested. Thank you.